Hello and welcome to this short presentation on complements. presentation contains about 16 slides and should take us oh, about 4 minutes to complete. Let's have a look and see what we're going to be doing. First we'll talk about complements. We'll see how to find complements. We'll see how complements fit into larger structures called clauses. And we'll practice on a couple of short sentences. First of all, what is a complement? Well, a complement is whatever answers the question whom or what after a verb. Why would it be important to find complements? Well, that's a good question. Complements combine with verbs and their subjects to form clauses. The dog ate by homework is a clause. A clause is made up of a subject, a verb, and a complement. Clauses are the building blocks of sentences. If you can see clauses, you will understand what you read, you will write clearly, and you will correct your own work. Let's try it. Handout 1, Section 1, contains two sentences. Fire burns, sugar is sweet. What I'd like you to do is take a pen or a pencil and circle the word you believe is the complement in each of these sentences. Remember, a complement is whatever answers the question whom or what after a verb. Take a minute and do this on your own. Draw a circle around the complements. If you're finished, we can move on. The first sentence, fire burns, contains only two words. We use our test and ask whom or what after the verb. Fire burns whom or what? But we can't answer this question. There just isn't any information in the sentence. If there's no possible answer, then there is no complement. We call this a zero complement. Grammar is like math. Zero is important. The next sentence is a little easier. Here we have three words. Sugar is sweet. Again, I've underlined the subject and bolded the verb. We use our test, sugar is whom or what? And we find the answer very easily. Sugar is sweet. Sweet is the complement. Subject, verb, plus complement makes a clause. Let's review quickly. A complement is whatever answers the question whom or what after a verb. Complements combine with verbs and their subjects to form clauses. Clauses are the building blocks of sentences. Now go to handout 2 and do the follow-up activity. And that's the end of the presentation.